Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Unconventional Attorney Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Small. I am the Unconventional Attorney. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. It is 9.05 p.m. on Sunday, and uh, we're here in the office. I'm here in the office, just got here. I haven't been here all day or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I want to get these episodes out on Mondays and Thursdays every week. And uh, sometimes that means you got to come into the office at 9.05 p.m. on Sunday. Um, but that's how we do it. And that's a little bit about what this episode is all about. Um, before we get to that, though, if you are a law firm owner or a business owner, for that matter, who knows how you or anybody else that's just interested in the inside scoop, and I've got a newsletter. It goes out every Sunday, and we'll be talking about that in a moment. And um, it's pretty cool. I have revamped it, just like I have almost everything else that has to do with the unconventional attorney this year. And um, this newsletter is pretty legit. Uh, every week, I send out um, um, an, an email newsletter talking about something that I've been thinking a lot about over the course of the week. Um, and then I talk a little bit about some of the sneak peek information that uh, we talk about in the inner circle in my live meetings that we do there every week. Um, also, give you a couple of items, a couple of things to do for the week, some things to think about. Um, basically, it is, um, I don't know, it's probably, it's definitely worth more than free. And so, if you're not subscribed, you're missing out. To uh, check that out, go to the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter and check it out. Uh, this week, for example, I break down my morning routine. Not just what I do, but why I do it. And I tell you the exact or the specific things that I do. So for example, when I talk about um, my three power words for the year, I give you my three power words in that newsletter. When I talk about the three um, mantras, the three philosophies that I write in my journal every single day, I don't just tell you that I write three, I actually give you the three. So if you want some information like that and, and a bunch of other cool stuff, the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter will get you access to that, all right? So why are we here at 9.05 on Sunday? Well, the main reason is that I spend all day with the kids and with the wifey running around doing stuff. And you know, this stuff also needed to get done. And sometimes we just have to do the work. Sometimes we just have to stay up late at night. I know that it would, it would be all sunshine and rainbows and cool and fun and exciting if we could just work 20 hours a week and uh, you know we could be rich and we could we could own the car and the house and all that other kind of stuff. But uh, but the you know reality life doesn't actually work like that. Unfortunately, um, people try to make it look like it does. Um, they try to make it look like that on Instagram. They try to make it look like that on Facebook or 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 some and their webinars and things like that and I would be skeptical of anybody that doesn't tell you that the work that it takes to get to where you want to go is hard that it that it's uh, it it's it's not grinding necessarily but it takes consistency and it takes time and it takes persistence and it takes discipline and it takes hard work and it takes guts it takes sticking to something when you're not sure if it's gonna work um, longer than you think you should because you know that's what it takes for it to actually work. It's like planting seeds and watering them, being unsure if they're going to sprout. That's, ex that's pretty much exactly what it's like. And you have to do that every single day. And so that's what I'm doing, right? I, I like talking about this stuff. I love doing these podcast episodes. I love being in your ear and talking to you and hopefully helping you with your business and maybe a little bit with your life. Um, but it's not always easy. You know, to make that commitment to myself and to you, sometimes I got to come into the office at nine o'clock at night. And um, you know, I'm not gonna. Uh, here's the thing, though, for me, when you when you have the right, um, when it's coming from the right place, it's not always that hard. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm tired. And uh, you know, I just moved into a new house, and I haven't been getting a great sleep because I've, we've been up late every night, moving, packing, and moving stuff in, and. And every day, packing and moving stuff, putting together. I can't tell you how much furniture I put together this week. It's ridiculous. Um, but the um, the you know, 
So it's it, you just do the work though. You just do the freaking work. Um, but coming in here, even though it's hard, it's still fun. You know, this kind of stuff, turning this camera on and talking to you, it's a creative outlet for me that that I really enjoy. And, you know, I'm honored to be able to talk to you and hopefully have you listen to me and trust me and uh, try some of the things that I'm telling you. I hope you do try them because they will work. Uh, but, you know, there's going to come a time in, in, your, in your law firm, in your life, where you're going to have to decide, you know, do you want it bad enough to go to the office at 9 o'clock and record a podcast episode or not? You know, do you want it bad enough to, to um, do that video that day, even when you're tired or, or when, when what, you don't feel like it? You know, are you going to do it? What, what's the, what's the, what are you going to do? That's the question. The other thing is, too, I'm not even done yet. Right, I've got my, I mentioned this, the newsletter earlier, the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter, by the way. And I've written about three quarters of it so far, but I have to go and write the rest of that tonight and get that out. And again, it's a labor of love. You know, I really, I, I enjoy the opportunity and the, uh, what's, I don't know what I'm looking for is. I, I enjoy being able to, ha- to, to, to help you. You know, like, I know, I know, what it's like to be a struggling law firm owner because I've been there. I know what it's like to have to you know get out of law school or get out, go anywhere and feel like you don't have any idea what's going on uh, because I've been there. I also know what it's like to have a bunch of people telling you a bunch of bullshit, you know, leading you down a path because they want your money and uh, they know that you probably don't know exactly what they are talking about. So they, they use big words or they use you know terrible reports. Um, to try to show you that something's happening, even though you know the phone's not ringing and people aren't signing up. Um, I've been there, okay? I've done all that before. And this is my way of paying it back, to trying to get you to listen to me, to just do what I'm saying and go make some money and work less, you know, have better clients, be a better person. You know, this is not just all about how to how to make money. Um, you know, there is a, a certain level of... I'm about to go woo-woo, by, by the way, for just a moment. There's a certain level of enlightenment that you will achieve in a, in a, a certain amount of freedom that I can't really describe um, well that you can find, that does exist, if you go out there and work at it and look for it. And it's the kind of freedom that I can't even talk about completely on this podcast because it... Um, Someday I will, but not today. But you know, it's 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 um, it's the kind of place where you get to make choices that you know are right for you, um, and that you know are right for for um, your people, even though everybody else might think it's crazy. All right, that's the kind of stuff you get to do as a law firm owner. So it's pretty fun. It's pretty great. It's pretty cool. And uh, I just want to come on here today, tonight, and, um, and and remind you of that. You know, remind you that you have a great opportunity to to uh, provide for your family, provide for yourself, become your best self. You know. By the way, I had no idea where this episode was going when I turned the camera on. I knew I wanted to talk about sort of doing the work and doing this kind of stuff, but I just let the I just let the the, the conversation carry itself. And we always go here because this is where it's at. This is where everything's at. But, you you know, bottom line is you got to be committed. you got to be ready to work when you need to work, even when you don't want to. you got to have the guts and the courage to turn this camera on and talk into it and be honest and be vulnerable and teach people and show people who you are. Um, and they will listen and they will come and they will hire you and, and they will love you. And, and you'll be able to do the kind of work that you want to do. So... I think, I, I think that's probably it. Let's see how much time we got. Where are we at? Now we're at 10 minutes. That's pretty good. But, um, you know, how do you, how do you, you know, let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to think about what kind of questions you're, you're what kind of stories you're telling yourself in your head right now that I can try to kind of rebut or acknowledge and, and move on from. You know, one of them might be, I don't have time. Um, anytime anyone says I don't have time, I just, I translate that into this is not a priority for me. Because basically, we all have the same amount of time. We all have the same opportunities in front of us. Some of us um, decide to put some things ahead of other things. You know, like I could be at home right now watching TV. This is a bigger priority than that. 
Um, you know, I just put the kids to bed. This was not a higher priority than that. Uh, but but when it comes to it, this is going to be there. I could be having a, a nice little whiskey right now, but uh, this is a bigger priority than that. And the newsletter will be too. You know, I might not watch that. I probably won't watch that much TV tonight. I don't usually, because this is a higher priority than that. You know, um, so just think about that kind of stuff. Hopefully, you know it's Monday. You're ready to work. You're fired up. You're excited. If you if you if you're, you know, sending out memes about you got a case of the Mondays, you need to check yourself. You need to find out what you're doing. You need to find out where your head's at, and you need to to change your your um, approach, change your mindset, or change your profession. You know, quit the job, quit the firm, go do something else. I haven't I haven't had a case of the Mondays in like forever. Okay. I love what I do. I'm excited to go to work every day. I'm excited to, to pursue these things and do these things. It's not always fun, okay? I'm not always jazzed. I don't always have the energy I would like to have, but at the end of the day, I love it. And I'm excited when Monday rolls around. Fridays make me sad, you know? And you're probably like, oh, you got kids and a family. How can you be sad about Fridays? Because I'm, I'm, I'm driven, I'm motivated. I got plenty of time for my kids. I got plenty of time for my wife, for my family. I got plenty of time for everybody. But uh, I want to dedicate a lot of my time to this business, to helping you, to helping others that 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 want to do it. You know, so I'm rambling, but that's okay. That's my podcast. So I hope this helped. Again, let's close this out. Sometimes, a lot of times, you're just gonna have to do the work. You know. No complaining, no bitching, no moaning, no procrastinating. You just do the work. You see the results. All right? Remember, if you want that newsletter, the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. It's free. It's once a week. Don't hate. Go and subscribe. You'll, you'll, you'll be happy that you did. Trust me. Um, and that's it. So hopefully you had a, have a great week. Um, you know, great. This is the first, this is the third, third quarter, right? First month of the third quarter. Hopefully you're doing well. You're killing it. And, um, I will talk to you again on Thursday. All right. That's it. See ya.